Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to a few different adjectives that is related to work. Because next time when you're talking with your friends and if you have to introduce uh, them to the kind of work that you're doing at office, then you can use these adjectives in order to describe your work or your job. Now, the first one is challenging. Challenging is a word that you can use when your work is extremely difficult, but at the same time, it's achievable. So it should not be a work that is, uh, you know, like, almost difficult to a point that it's impossible to achieve so when it's achievable but still if it's difficult then you can say your work is challenging so say my work as a content creator is extremely challenging because coming up with uh, interesting and unique content every single week is not a joke so that is one way you can use the word challenging the second one is demanding Demanding, as the word suggests, uh, any work that involves or that demands your skills or your time or your effort is called demanding. So you can uh, describe a work that is, say, you know, if you're a doctor, then you can say my work or my job is extremely demanding. Being a doctor is such a demanding task because you always have to be in the hospital. You always have to be alert and be there in the hospital if they call you. You might have to work in the weekends. So that sort of a job is called demanding. Then the third one is clerical. Any job that is described as being clerical in nature is a job that is extremely repetitive where you will have to do a lot of administration works or back in the day it used to be paper works. But these days it's more or less you know, like works like typing or downloading or filing. So these kind of uh, jobs where you don't get to really interact with human beings is called clerical. So you can describe a word uh, work as being clerical if it is uh, extremely repetitive in nature and if it doesn't really involve uh, human interactions or if it deals with administration works like the ones that I just uh, mentioned right now like you know filing or uh, paperwork and so on. Now the next term is unsociable jobs. When somebody says that they have an unsociable job then that means they're working during unfriendly hours say at night or during the weekends and so on where they don't really get to meet people a lot or when they're isolated at work because it's during the weekends when nobody really comes or it's during the night when everybody is asleep so if you're a watchman or if you're uh, say a security then you can if you work for the security team then you can say you have an unsociable job the last term is mundane Mundane is again an adjective that you can use in order to describe a work that is extremely boring and repetitive and monotonous in nature. So if you're working in a factory and then you have to label or stick on a label to like thousands and thousands of bottles, then you can say, I have a mundane job. My job is extremely mundane. Now mundane is pronounced as mundane and not as mundane. I really hope this video was useful and uh, in case if you want to know more about the courses that we provide such as the English communicative courses as well as our IELTS coaching then you can definitely go ahead and click on the link below to know more. Thank you so much for watching. English House. English at your fingertips.